the Dick Shirley Chevrolet pace car will make its way off the racetrack. And for the second time in 2015, Deke McCaskill will lead the field to green. Green flag is out. We are racing the Orange Blossom 300 presented by the Grilling Store at Orange County Speedway. And right off the jump, look at Myatt Snyder. That car got a heck of a bite in the middle of turns one and two. He shot to the outside of Jamie Caudill like he was standing still. Caudill stuck on the bottom right now. That's the battle for second. McCaskill is the leader. Brayton Hawes has fallen already back at second, single file. Behind them, they were thinking about three wide. Garrett Campbell, Stacey Perrier. Here they are, three wide actually at turn number three. That's the battle for about the ninth spot. They're all mired up in a complete hornet's nest behind that. Jeff Oakley leading on Michael Foles and a number of others. It's getting crazy already, and we're only two laps into the Orange Blossom 300. In fact, really, tail of two races. Everybody in the first half of the field right now, single file. No problems whatsoever. And literally, the second half of the field, this is the battle for 16th out of 30. This is where they're all mired up. Michael Foes, Matt Waltz. You know, Waltz has got a lot of people watching at Race Speed X cheering on that sear sand and gravel car. Oh, problems! Waltz on the outside wall! Contact from Michael Foes. He got into the wall of the front straightaway, apparently broke something or cut a tire. And that's it, Matt Waltz uncontrollably hard into the outside wall in turn number one. Tough break for the Sears Sand and Gravel Ford and Matt Waltz. He was trying his best to get around the 54 of Michael Foes County. Deke McCaskill and Brayton Hawes once again get a lead on the green flag. 23 laps in the books. Field rolls off to the high banks here at Orange County. Battle for the top spot off turn four, Brayton Hawes as the leader chose the outside where he restarted last time. This time he gets the advantage on Deke McCaskill once again, but McCaskill not to be outdone. Thought about looking to the bottom, couldn't make it happen. Here comes Jamie Caudill, Myatt Snyder, Justin Johnson, everybody sailing it in deep into turn number three the last time. Single file for the top six, the battle is from seventh on back. That's where Doug Barnes Jr. is under fire from Justin Kreider. Stacey Purrier is there. R.D. Smith, Austin McDaniel making his way into the top ten. He's just a spot or two outside. Same with Jeff Oakley, slowly making their way forward. Each one of these drivers, hello, watch out, Oakley. Had him a handful of steering wheel over in turn number four. He was able to hang on to it. Report from the 27 of Tommy Lemons, power steering might be the issue in the Tommy Lemons car. A good thing to note. Really amazing he's able to hold the bottom of the racetrack with power steering giving him problems. This is not an easy racetrack as quick as you've got to move the wheel to be out power steering. We'll see if that's how it continues to be for Tommy Lemon still trying to battle by Doug Mark Jr. for the 10th spot. Meanwhile, the battle for second. Well, the temperature in that kitchen just got turned up. Somebody put a pot on the stove, and now we've got things cooking. Myatt Snyder is on the inside of Deke McCaskill. Battle for the runner-up spot as they work into turn number one. Snyder again committed to the bottom. That's the only place we've really seen him tonight. And behind them, look at Garrett Campbell. Campbell has decided to go way up to the Harry Gant groove and run the very rim of the racetrack here at Orange County. So a great battle now for the runner-up spot. Behind the leader, Brayton Hawes. Jamie Caudill has got the best seat in the house. And then Atlantic Resources, Southern Piping Company, Ford. Number 50, trying to figure out who he wants to follow. If he can follow Snyder, he'll be well intentioned to do so. Snyder to second. McCaskill back to third. Here comes Jamie Caudill for time. Myatt Snyder on the inside. The leader, Brayton Hawes, on the outside. Jamie Caudill, Justin Kreider, the next pair. They come Deke McCaskill and the 12 of Garrett Campbell. Side by side, the leaders will race off turn number two. Snyder's got a wheel underneath of Brayton Hawes, but Hawes going to use that momentum on a rim ride right around the outside. Look at Justin Cryer up to third. He just schooled the veteran Jamie Caudle, moved Justin Kreider to position number three. And Kreider is not shy about putting the loud pedal down to the outside, to the inside. They're two and three wide behind him, but the big battle is up front, top three. Here comes Kreider underneath the Snyder. Couldn't make, couldn't get the job done. Top 10, 12 cars all under a blanket as they work off turn number four. Pace car is off. 35 circuits remaining. Brayton Hawes, Myatt Snyder will lead the field to turn number one. And once again on the jump, Hawes up top pulls out by a car leap. Here comes Snyder on the bottom. He'll try to muscle Jamie Caudill up out of the way so he can take second off for his own. Unable to do it just yet. Off turn number four. They're still side by side. Caudill nearly gets squeezed in the outside wall. Just a little bit of room between Snyder. Look at this, three wide. 
Kreider, Justin Kreider, you know the inside in turn number three. No, hello, somehow they made it work. Contact between Caudill and Snyder. Caudill hangs on to it. He'll claim second for himself. Snyder back to third. Kreider is fourth. Here comes Garrett Campbell. Now, Carl has a problem. He slips up off turn number two. That's going to allow Myatt Snyder to squeeze back in underneath of him. Kreider and Campbell side by side. Deke McCaskill is there. Here comes Tommy Lemons and Justin Johnson. There's about 15 cars all in the middle of this pack battling for second through umpteenth. Seven. Dick Shirley Chevrolet is off the racetrack. Leader Brayton Hawes takes the green flag. And Myatt Snyder in second dives right to the inside in turn one. Can't get the job done yet. He'll nearly make contact off turn number two. He'll slide into second. And look to the inside as they work off the fourth and final turn, heading back across the stripe. Now 23 circuits remaining. The battle is behind him. Garrett Campbell, look at him. High, wide, and handsome. Mr. Excitement lets Jamie Carley at the spot for now. Now Carter will claim the spot for himself. Up to third. Kreider is there in fourth. McCaskill, Smith, digging like I don't know what. Holy cow, R.D. Smith from the back to the front in this one. Came down pit road, had a flat left front tire, and somehow he has made his way back to knocking on the door of the top five. Top two continue to pull away from this battle, and the gap between them is about a matter of inches as they work through turns one and two. Still nose to tail, Myatt Snyder is trying to worry Brayton Hawes to death. Filling the mirror with that big NBC Peacock is Myatt Snyder. He looks to the outside, now the inside off turn four, and he's got to run into turn number one. Snyder to the bottom with 20 laps to go. Can Myatt Snyder win his very first Cars Tour late model stock crown here at Orange County? Off turn four, 19 circuits remaining. Halls continues to hold the point. Popsicle sticks are in the air. Brayton Hawes, a five-car length advantage over Myatt Snyder and a closing Justin Kreider. Six car lengths ahead of him. And caution is out. Christian Payroot has a flat tire in turn number four. And that is going to set up a two. Check that. It's going to be three-lap shootout. For the end, we'll get an official count on that. This is not what Brayton Hawes wanted to see. It's not what Myatt Snyder wanted to see. The Dick Shirley Chevrolet pace car will make its way off the banking of turns three and four. Brayton Hawes the leader, Myatt Snyder in second. Three circuits remaining to determine the winner of the Orange Blossom 300 presented by the Grilling Store. Look at Hawes rim ride right around Myatt Snyder. Snyder hip checks R.D. Smith out of the groove. Now he opens it up for Justin Kreider. Kreider is gonna make no qualms about shoving his nose in there. That's the best thing Brayton Hawes can see. They're two wide, three wide, even four wide behind them with two circuits remaining. Brayton Hawes with a restart with three laps to go. He's going to come off turn number four. White flag is in the air for the Ream Ford. Hawes a half a straightaway over the battle for second. Justin Kreider and Myatt Snyder. They trade paint. Artie Smith fourth. Jamie Caudill in fifth. But nobody, and I mean nobody, has got anything. Six car lengths and his first win in the Cars Racing Tour. Brayton Hawes will win the Orange Blossom 300 presented by the Grilling Store. Justin Kreider, a career best run. Snyder, Smith. And Jamie Cottle will round out the top five.